Welcome back to Robominions.in AI interview preparation app. The topic of this video is searching in binary search tree. When I click next, so you use next and back button for code control. So you see we have the arrow here which traces the code. It goes to the exact location of each individual line of execution. Okay. Our AI is trained in such a way that it uh, goes to the specific execution lines of the code. It acts like its own compiler and goes to that line. So when I click next now, uh, hash include stdlib.h, then we have hash include create binary search tree.h header file. So uh, creating binary search tree, uh, we have covered this part of the code uh, in the video DSA 53 creating a binary search tree. So it uh, so it uh, so this insert to BST has been clearly explained in that video. Uh, I would recommend rec if you have not watched that video, I would uh, request you to go to the DSA 53 creating a binary search tree video and watch this and then come back to this main video. Then I when I click next, so we have it goes to int main, then in int main we have uh, we creating a key pointer equal to null. So the key pointer will be the searching pointer as we are searching, right? So that will be the key we will be searching. Now we have to create the binary search tree first. So insert to BST, which this function is present in this header file, create binary search tree dot H. So when we do insert to BST, we send the data 11, it will create a node and then uh, a left child and right child is assigned null and it has a its own address hash 100 root equal to this node now insert to bst of 9 so 9 is less than 11 so the left child hash 200 is the node address then we have insert to bst 22 so right child hash 300 is the node address of this 22 is greater than 11 so it is it is added to the right side Insert to BST 18, 18 is checked with uh, this data, 18 is greater than 11, 18 is less than 22, it is added in the left side of this node, has 600 is the node address of this node. Then we have insert to BST 40, 40, so 40 is uh, greater than 11, 40 is great, greater than 22, so 40 is added, for, added here hash 700 is assigned to the right child of this node. Then we have insert to BST of 8. 8 is less than 11 true, 8 is less than 9 true. So 8 goes to the left side and uh, 8 node address hash 400 is assigned to the left child of the nine uh, node. this node. We have successfully created a binary search tree. Now we have to search the key of 18. So we have to search this uh, key, we have to return this node. So let's see when we do key pointer that is which is of type node equal to search of BST, search underscore BST of 18, we are searching the data 18. So it will go to the search underscore BST. Here, here we have uh, uh, T underscore PTR equal to root. So this is a iteration point, uh, traversing pointer which will be used to traverse through the tree. Okay, so t underscore ptr equal to root. So right now t underscore ptr is pointing to this node. While t underscore ptr is not equal to null, that's true. If we go inside. If key key is eighteen, key equal to equal to t underscore ptr data. So t underscore ptr data is eleven. Eighteen equal to equal to eleven is false. It goes to the else part. 18 is less than 11 false goes to the else part as 18 is greater than 11 it goes to the else and then t underscore ptr equal to t underscore ptr of right child because 18 is greater than 11 right so it has come to the else so we are moving the we are traversing to the right child so from here the t ptr is pointing to this node now it has moved to the right child right child address is 300 right hash 300 hash 300 is this node so now tptr is pointing to this node now again a while condition is checked tptr is not equal to null that is true tptr is not equal to null 
again the key node is checked sorry the key value is checked 18 equal to equal to 22 false comes to the else if 18 less than 22 true so 18 is less than 22 so this tptr is moved to the left child that is hash 600 so tptr equal to tptr left child so tptr is now pointing to left child hash 600 now again the while condition is checked tptr is not equal to null yes it is not equal to null now the key 18 equal to equal to tptr data t pointer data is 18 so yeah we have matched the data so 18 has been matched we we have found the key in the binary search tree so now we return the t underscore ptr address that is has uh, 600 address will be returned when we return now key underscore ptr is pointing to this node and it is not equal to null true searched key of uh, key ptr uh, key underscore ptr data that is searched key 18 is found so we have successfully found then it returns from the main function the time complexity of searching in a binary search tree is order of log n okay so if you want to access this code you can click code button in robominions.in ai interview preparation app click on code button and uh, if you want to go through each individual step now you have watched the video and you know how it is working okay you don't need to watch this video again you just need to go to the app and click back and ne next button and you can simply explain the code to yourself instead of watching the video now you have cl clarity of how the code is working so the next time when you are revising right you can just simply open the app and click back and next button and explain this to yourself and then you will be thorough with your concept so searching in the binary search tree this concept will you will be uh, I, I i may say that you may start getting dreams of code like how how you are searching this key and how algorithmic uh, way of thinking you can start getting dreams okay so so it uh, that level of mapping is done in this app which can help you in the clear visualization of the algorithms so yeah uh, see you guys uh, in the next video yeah thank you signing up dhananjay sharma founder of robominions.in don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel share with your friends and family visit robominions.in website Crack your toughest coding questions and tech interviews by downloading the latest version of the app. And make your coding easy. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.